today it's a very interesting lesson that we are going to discuss and there's no other lesson than promoting political stability in Ghana take up your pens notepads exercise books and whatever you have to jot down the salient points call a friend call a cousin and call any other neighbor around you to join us in this lesson so for today we have to roll through the objectives let's see what we have for the objectives today by the end of the lesson you the learner at home will be able to explain the meaning of democracy and its features examine the factors that promote or sustain operation of democracy suggest ways of promoting political stability in ghana right so let's see what democracy actually means democracy is a greek word which is made up of demos meaning the people and kraton to rule i'll take that again democracy is a greek word which is made up of demos meaning the people and kraton to rule democracy again is a system of living and also a type of government it consists of a system of governance or government in which the wishes of the people are taken into consideration or account in the process of governance or government. A noble man by name Abraham Lincoln, the 16th United States of American president, defined democracy as government of the people by the people and for the people. I hope you understand that. Government of the people, by the people and for the people. So that means that everybody is inclusive in governance. Another Greek philosopher by name Aristotle also defined democracy as a state where the free man and the poor being in majority are vested with the power of the state. So you can see that democracy is very interesting so myself you there at home wherever you find yourself is also part of what democracy features of democracy i'm sure you are jotting down the points majority rules by the views of the minority are considered or respected when we say this it simply means that when there's a and is ruling that polit political party must be able to accept whatever the majority or the minority says must he must be able to do what understand and accept what the minority says even though the minority is not in power the next point is there is prominence of public opinion so that means that each and everyone's opinion is accepted in democracy tolerance and respect for human rights there is also regular and free and fair elections so elections must be very free when the ballot is counted and is thousand for a particular party it should be written as thousand but not thousand five hundred so there should be free and fair elections there is multi-party politics in democracy we can have a lot of what party party politics this party, that party, that party, making up a group of people who are representing, who will be able to represent the states when the elections are over. There is freedom of press, freedom of expression, and rule of law. Each and every individual in a political party has the right to express himself without what? Insults. Without insult. Again, there is prominence of public opinion. Yes, you have the right to express yourself, even in the classroom. Democracy, we use democracy in the classroom. The class prefect cannot be a bully. Or if you want to express your opinion, you, can, you should be able to express your opinion without insult. And when you do that, you enjoy democracy in class. Now let's look at the next point. Factors that are necessary for the operation of democracy. The first point is a good and workable constitution this simply means 
it is very necessary because it's the constitution that the state or the tenure of office of a president and will also protect the rights and liberties of the individual from being abused. This is just simple. Good and workable constitution. In every society, there are constitution. We'll be talking about constitution later on, maybe the next week. So you know that if there is a constitution that don't eat in the class, you don't have to eat in the class. It's a law. So that's what they are saying, that there should be a good and workable constitution. Respect for the rights and freedom of the people. This is necessary because if the rights and freedom of the people are abused, it will bring political instability, hence destroying what? Democracy. So you should respect the views of every individual. So even in the family, when you're having a little meeting and somebody says something and I'm not happy with it, you don't have to pull a rod or a stick or something. You need to accept the person's right um, view and then later you express yourself why you said that. Observance of the rule of law. This is also necessary because if people are made to be above the law, while some are dealt with with the law, it will bring what? Political instability. We are talking about instability, instability. Someone is asking, I know, that what is instability? It's the state of what? Things not being stable. So let's say, for instance, you are in a room, and then all of a sudden, there's a fire guards the place. Everybody will be running helter-skelter. So you find out that there is, until the fire is, is quenched, what will happen? Everybody will now be stable so instability there are two different meanings we have stability and instability as we roll we'll explain that too then the existence of political parties this is necessary because it gives the people the chance to choose their leaders from the lots it also enhances or ensures political opposition which serves as a watchdog on the ruling government the next point, again, is free and fair election. This is necessary because it gives the electorate the opportunity or chance for their leaders to use what they have, the power that they have. So, for example, if um, you are voting for someone in the class, maybe a class prefect, it should, the ballot that has been counted should be free and fair. You should make sure that if um, candidate 110, Candidate two had 20, you have to just mention it like that. You don't have to change it and say, because this person is your favorite, you are giving the 20 marks to the, your favorite. When you do that, it's not free and fair. Political opposition. This is also necessary because it criticizes government policies constructively to ensure accountability. Yes, you can see this between some two parties in Ghana. I'm not going to mention any, but as we continue, I'll come up with some of the names of these parties. So political opposition is very good. Sometimes, even in the class, you see some people are in the class, when you decide that you want to do this in the class, some will say, no, they will not accept you to do that. So that's an opposition in the class. But you have to f move along with the people, because if you don't do that, you can't forge ahead in the class and then you get success from whatever you want to do. Institutional safeguards. Various institutional safeguards are necessary, such as the independent judiciary, to in interpret the law, independent electoral commission to organize election, and also to support the democratic system. Now, the law has nothing to do with politics. So, these are institutions that are there to help to make sure that things are put in place. Do you understand that? Right. Now, let's look at what a political party is. So, a political party is a group of people with similar ideas about how a state should be governed with the aim of winning a political power. Examples of some political parties in Ghana are the New Patriotic Party, that is MPP, the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Conventional People's Party, CPP, 
Ghana Consolidated Popular Party, GCPP. Great Consolidated Party, GCP, and Ghana Union Movement, GUM, as we all used to say. That's G-U-M. And then Progressive People's Party, PPP. So all these are some of the political parties in Ghana. Now let's look at the meaning of stability. Stability is a state of being stable and instability is the state of being unstable. I have already explained this already. For example, when all political parties meet at a general platform to discuss pertinent, pertinent or important issues, they, are, they have a common agreement that they say or they say certain things to be able to make the people what? Stable. But when they have a clash or they are said to be unstable. Now, all that I want to say is that when there's a political party on a platform and the other party decides to say something against the other political party, what happens? It brings in chaos. See that they'll be lambasting themselves. And so when they decide to tone down, then they become what? Stable. But when there are clashes, then it's what? Instability. So political instability refers to the incident of frequent and unconstitutional changes of government through upheavals such as military coup d'etat or civil wars rather than through constitutional process. You know, as I earlier on said, everything in democracy is constitutional. Without the constitution, then what is going to happen? Instability, war, chaos, all over. Right. Factors responsible for political instability. Not giving the opposition party the chance to campaign and take part in elections. Of course, if the own political party is denied the opportunity to take part in elections, you can see what will actually happen. It will bring instability. Another point is heads of state holding on to too much power or without uh, the will of what stepping down for others. So example was um, Nkuma, he wanted to remain in power because he wanted to bring um, together all the African states so that they will become United States of Africa, of which he was not able to do. And so he was overthrown in 1966 in, through a coup d'etat. The next point is mismanagement of the country's resources. The same president in Kuma was mismanaging Ghana's resources by using more money on the aim of uniting Africa, leaving domestic affairs, hence the coup d'etat in 1966. Human rights abuse is another point. Human rights abuse by heads of states, suppression of opposition and arrest of and detention of those who criticize government is also a factor to bring about what? Instability. When there is no constitutional means to change of government, what happens? Instability. So absence of periodic free and fair elections also brings about what? Instability. Now, another interesting subtopic. Factors that can promote political stability in Ghana. So we have talked about what stability is, and then we've talked about instability. So I'm going to look at what are some of the factors that help promote political stability. And it's very important that we should have stability in our country, Ghana. The first point is allowing freedom of speech and freedom of movement, freedom of the press. For example, people should feel free to opinions. So at home, people should allow their kids to be able to do what? Express themselves. Right. Periodic free and fair elections. This will provide the opportunity to change governments who are not accountable and responsible for the people without the use of force. So when there is periodic what? elections, it makes people sound, it makes people happy. One person should not sit on the seat forever and say, that I'm not ready to get off from the seat. So what happens? Then instability will come in. 
the government should avoid dictatorial practices. The government should avoid dictatorial practices like arrest and detention, suppression of opposition, which makes people rebel against the government. The existence of official recognized opposition party. There must be an official recognized opposition party to criticize the government and serve as a watchdog for the ruling government. So you can see that there are two parties now that do that. So that's NDP and the NDC for now. And some other parties also lambast um, the other parties when they don't do the right thing. And I'm, I'm very happy to, to listen to some of the views of other political parties on TV when I, they talk about things they are not really happy about the current government. Now, constitutional safeguards. There must be a constitutional safeguard, such as an independent judiciary to interpret the constitution, and safeguards such as independent judiciary to interpret the constitution and help people from being abused. Good. Now, we are moving to another area. As you know, promoting political stability in Ghana, it's a very broad topic. So you have to we have sub sub topics that you have to understand, take your time, and then just jot down silent points. Now let's move to areas of disagreement between political parties. What causes this? So we have some major areas. One is national priorities. Political parties disagree with one another as to which of the problem of the country should be solved first. For example, should we build more schools or buy more ammunition? So the order of the day today, uh, people are finding out, should we build a national That's a question for you. I'll give it to you as an assignment. So these are national priorities. Now the next point is taxation. They differ on how to raise taxes and how much taxes should be levied. In 1994, the opposition parties demonstrated against the VATs introduced by the NDC government. So a lot of people, there were a lot of agitations. People were complaining, we don't want it. But today, I think it's helping us because it's the VAT that is used in building schools, constructing roads, building hospitals, and other things. Right. The next point is national expenditure. They agree on how to use the country's money. Very, very important. There should be an agreement on how to use even money in your own pocket. You must be able to know how to use your money. Otherwise, you will not spend the money well. Then, the last point is manifestos. They, are, they disagree with one another on how to design good programs to solve problems in Ghana. So sometimes you see that in someone's manifesto, you say a lot of things, I'll do this, I'll do that. And the other person will say, it's not true, you can't do it. How can you do this within a period of time? But then that's their choice and that's their opinion. Now let's look at how political conflicts can be resolved in democratic society. So all this instability and stability points that we have discussed, we are looking at how Conflicts can be resolved in a democratic society. One, tolerance and open-mindedness for the view of the opposing party. You have to tolerate each and every one. The next point is parties must use dialogue to discuss important issues. And then party B says no, you have to sit at a round table and discuss the issues so that can smoke what? The peace pipe. The decision must be based on constitutional provision and conformity with national interests. The next point is where differences persist, the case must be sent to the Commission for Human Rights and Administrative Justice to intervene in the case. Ways of ensuring political stability in Ghana ways of ensuring political stability in Ghana. The first one is respecting the view of the minority. Very, very important. Yes, you have to respect.
the view of the minority. The majority must respect the view of the minority. The administration of every state should be based on democratic principles. The ruling party should respect the view of the other mi minority groups in parliament and the country at large. The fact that you are the majority does not mean that you can do what you like. You must respect the view of the minority. The view of another point is the view of the minority should sometimes be considered in making policies and taking decisions. Very important. Yes. This will help the minority to be part of governance processes and also help in maintaining political stability. So if the majority says, I want to do this, and the minority says, no, let's do it this way, and they don't understand, what do you think will happen? Yes, you are right. Instability. There will be coercion. Before you realize, they will do their own thing in parliament. Freedom of press. The press must be free to report, write, or say whatever they want to, want to say without fear or favor. Nobody must intimidate or put fear on the press. Then the last point is excuse political insults. We have to avoid politics of insults, as this can bring political conflicts. Somebody will say, this person is like this, that person is like that. And when we do that, we bring what? We bring about political conflict. So we should avoid political insults. Then, access to quality education. People must have access to quality education to be able to make good and well-informed choices. Education will also enable them to be responsible citizens in the country. Lastly, eradication of poverty. Poverty can also cause political instability. So, to promote stability, governments must introduce programs to help eradicate poverty. You know, sometimes people that have gone to school partially, I will say partially because they maybe they have not gone through all the process of all the academic ladder. Those people are people who always want to say they know. And so when issues come, they want everybody, everyone to hear of them that they are really discussing the issue. And sometimes they may not be saying the right thing. But when you see somebody like that, you that you have learned political stability, you have to just tone down and educate the person. So it is very important to be educated. Inculcating moral values in all members of society, the religious bodies and other state institutions, as well as the mass media, should be charged to design programs that will help instill discipline and moral values in the members of the society, especially the youth. You there. You listening to me now, you should have that moral values to do what? To help promote stability in Ghana. Areas of disagreements. We are looking at the areas of disagreement between political parties. National priority. National priority. Political parties disagree with one another as to which of the problems of the country so, you know that. We have said that already. Okay. We have discussed this already. Okay. Now we are moving on to another segment, which is the speed tests. Today, I told you that they are going to be segment the first segment is the teaching and learning segment of which you have taken your time you have jotted down most of the salient points this time we are moving on to the speed segment and let me explain something small for you sure okay for the speed segment, let me just explain to you again, my lovely viewers. This is a segment 
screen. And so the first color or any color that calls me, I will, you will read out the questions to you. And then you use 10 minutes to answer five questions. And you know, there is going 10 minutes or five minutes. Okay, I will decide. I will decide the minutes that, okay. Okay, so we are going for a commercial break. We'll be right back. So go over all that you have learned. We'll meet again soon. vacation and desperately want to catch up with the syllabus? Silao, sila. Don't fret because Joy Learning is giving you free extra classes not only on TV but on Zoom. Did you encounter any challenges with certain topics at school? Bring them here and we will help you get it solved with no sweat, Charlie. We are offering you a one-on-one -on -one teaching and learning opportunity with our award-winning TV teachers. Is it mathematics, general science, English language or any of the elective subjects that you have challenges with? Meet our teachers for easy solutions. How do you join these free extra classes on Zoom? One, download the Zoom app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Two, create your username. Three, look for our Zoom meeting password on all our social media handles every week. And voila, you are good to join our virtual classroom from the comfort of your home. Make a date this Saturday with your facilitator at 12 noon prompt. The Joy Learning teacher and you, we don't stop learning. Joy Learning, keep learning. viewers i know you have quickly brushed through all that we have taught this time is a speed test and it's a very interesting time with me to give you the questions that i have displayed on the screen so the numbers to call is 0302 211 705 or 0302-211-706. So these are the questions on the screen and you are using one minute to answer these questions. So I'll go through the questions with you. Okay, so as you can see the, quest, um, the numbers on your screen start calling. Let me see the fastest brain teaser the one that can answer the questions within a minute within a minute so that's the questions on your screen okay wonderful questions very okay so that's the first question the first question is on your screen For me to help you again, let me go back so that you look at the first question again. So that's the first question. Hello, lovely caller. Hello. 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 Hello, lovely caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm from Come again. I am Henry. Henry. Hello. Mute your TV. Otherwise, I can't hear what you are saying. I can't even hear your name. Can you mute your TV a little for me? Okay. Yeah. I am Milo Jamwa. Milo Jamwa. Okay. Mm. And you said you are calling from yeah, where? Come again. Come again. Mm. Lois. Lois. Oh, okay. Lois. That's a wonderful name, Lois. Mute your television a little. Okay. So, hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello, madam. Wonderful. How are you this evening? I'm fine. Wow. I know you are ready for the questions. I can hear from your voice. So, Daniel, in a minute, you are going to answer all these questions for me. So, the first question is on your screen. So, let's go. 
public please. And democracy is what is defined by the Lincoln by government of the people, by the people and for the people. Right, you've done well. Okay, so let's move on to the next question quickly. The next question. Yes. 30 seconds. Let's you quickly. Please, can I view it on the Twitter? Can you do what? You are talking, so your time is going. 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, the democracy, the... Ma 10 seconds. There are majority laws, but the minority laws must be... Minority views must be... Considered. Okay. And, uh, oh, the next time you call again, your time is up. We had two and out of there. So, hello, Emmanuel. Okay, so that means that um, Daniel had two out of the four questions. All right, so Emmanuel, Emmanuel, your time starts now. So, the democracy is the system of government by the people, by the people and by the people. Good. Move. Thirty seconds. And then, features of democracy. There is there is freedom of press. Sure. There's dominance of public opinion. Right. Move on quickly. The forming of NPPs, New Patriotic Party. Ten seconds. NPP, Conventional People Party. And NDC is national. Whoa, you've done well. I'm so excited. You have been tracking all that I have been teaching. Well done, well done. What's your name? The name again and your school? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And your school? Your school? I can't hear you. Two brigade. That is uh, Sunyani. Why is two brigade? Kumasi. Kumasi. Yes, two brigade infantry. Sure, you've done very well. Armed forces. You've done very well. He, he had all the marks. You've done well. So you are the winner for today. So, so just take this number on the screen. And so you call for your prize. Wonderful. Two brigade. Well done from Kumasi. Well done. Well done. Well done. So take the number on your screen. Can you see it? Yes, madam. Okay, so quickly. So after the show, you call and then you talk to someone. And then the person will give you all the necessary information. Right? Daniel, you've done very well. Well, congratulations. You've done very well. I'm so excited that you had all the questions. Right. Well, then keep on reading. Other viewers, I'm sure you would love to answer most of the questions. But for time flies, we are done with today's segment on the speed test. I'll be giving you some assignments to do. So let's move quickly to the assignment time so that you can do the assignment for me. Question number one. Oh, hello, Patricia. Wow. Oh, Patricia, you are so excited. <laughs> How are you? Please, I'm good. You? I'm also very fine. Patricia, what's, uh, where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from Asante Wow, wow. Yes. Osekum isn't. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Patricia, as um, you know the, 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 the rules of the game, the rule is yeah. that you're answering this question within a minute. Right, so let's go, Patricia. Um, the democracy by Abraham Lincoln is um, um, the government for the people, for the people and by the people. Oh, come again. That's democracy, constitution designed by Abraham Lincoln. Okay, the next question. Uh, please, it's not 30 yet. seconds. 30 um, seconds. Yeah, I'm online. There is the prominence of people opinion. That's one. And there is... 20 um, seconds. Minority rules, but the view of the minority are considered... Sure. Uh, respect. Okay, respected. Yeah. Okay, move on. And the full meaning of the following party is a new patriotic party. Oh, your time uh, is one. up. Oh, Pat oh Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> 
But teacher, you see, you want to be smart, but then your time is up. You were chatting with your brothers there. Next time, you have to concentrate. Okay, so that's that for today. I'm so excited. A lot of you have really understood all that we learned today. I'm, I'm very pleased to hear Patricia, Emmanuel, Daniel, and Lois. Next time, you try as much as possible to call again, read and call again, and win a prize. Now, let's go to the homework for the day. Question number one, write it down. Mention four causes of political stability in Ghana. That's eight marks for you. Instability in Ghana. Let me take the question again. Mention four causes of political instability in Ghana. Explain the term political conflicts. Question number two. That's a BEC question. So try your hands on it. Highlight five ways of ensuring political stability in Ghana. And then these ones... If you can, you can try and then answer them in the next one minute. So democracy in our nation could be sustained by, so quickly, it's also part of the speed test. So you can do that. Question number two, democracy can be promoted by the following except. So these are the answers. You can pick them as fast. Then question number three, democracy refers to the government of he just said, somebody answered it, the person did it very well. Then the practice of multi-party democracy in Ghana tends to promote, the answers are right there. So choose the correct one. So all too soon, we've come to the end of today's section. Hope to see you another time again. Keep reading. I'm your presenter or facilitator, Anita Autry Asari. It's a bye-bye for me. Bye-bye. Bye. Keep reading and keep learning all the time. Bye. vacation and desperately want to catch up with the syllabus? Silao, sila. Don't fret because Joy Learning is giving you free extra classes not only on TV but on Zoom. Did you encounter any challenges with certain topics at school? Bring them here and we will help you get it solved with no sweat, Charlie. We are offering you a one-on-one -on -one teaching and learning opportunity with our award-winning TV teachers. Is it mathematics, general science, English language or any of the elective subjects that you have challenges with? Meet our teachers for easy solutions. How do you join these free extra classes on Zoom? One, download the Zoom app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Two, create your username. Three, look for our Zoom meeting password on all our social media handles every week. And voila, you are good to join our virtual classroom from the comfort of your home. Make a date this Saturday with your facilitator at 12 noon prompt. The Joy Learning teacher and you, we don't stop learning. Joy Learning, keep learning. vacation and desperately want to catch up with the syllabus? Silao, sila. Don't fret because Joy Learning is giving you free extra classes not only on TV but on Zoom. Did you encounter any challenges with certain topics at school? Bring them here and we will help you get it solved with no sweat, Charlie. We are offering you a one-on-one -on -one teaching and learning opportunity with our award-winning TV teachers. Is it mathematics, general science, English language or any of the elective subjects that you have challenges with? Meet our teachers for easy solutions. How do you join these free extra classes on Zoom? One, download the Zoom app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Two, create your username. Three, look for our Zoom meeting password on all our social media handles every week. And voila, you are good to join our virtual classroom from the comfort of your home. Make a date this Saturday with your facilitator at 12 noon prompt. The Joy Learning teacher and you, we don't stop learning. Joy Learning, keep learning.